You are watching YETicket.com with Al McGee. Movie reviews and interviews. This is YETicket.com. YETicket.com. Your entertainment ticket. We are your entertainment ticket. That's right. YETicket.com. We are your entertainment ticket. That's right. Hey, this is Al McGee with your entertainment ticket. I am the film critic for yourentertainmentticket.com. The film I'm going to talk about right now is called Delivery Man. Hey, this stars Vince Vaughn. Right. Well, actually, this is an adaptation from the original film called Starbuck, which is a European version. And it, the original screenplay was written by Martin Petit. But also... Ken Scott, the director, directed the first one. Also, he's one of the writers for the screenplay. Well, they really didn't change anything. Only thing they changed uh, about this film was the actors and the location. It's in New York, and you have uh, New York uh, people and characters, and you have Vince Vaughn playing Starbuck. Well, what is Starbuck? If you remember my review for the original Starbuck movie, this is about this guy. You know, he was a slacker, underachiever, whatever words you want to use. But while he was in college, he donated sperm to a sperm bank. He donated over 600 uh, samples, specimens, whatever you want to call them. And he made over $23,000 doing that. So that's pretty easy for a college student to make some cash. But his family, you know, his father and his brothers, they own a meat shop and he's the delivery guy. So some lawyer came up to him and said, hey, look, you father 533 kids, 142 of them are looking for you. They wanna know who you are. You know, they wanna kind of like have some type of, some type of identity with him. Now he has his girlfriend, which is played by Kobe Smothers. Now she's pregnant, but she really doesn't want to be involved in his life anymore because he doesn't seem to want full responsibility of anything. Well, also in this film too, starring Chris Pratt and Bobby Moynihan. What happens after that Starbuck, you know, he finds some of the kids, follow them around, see what their life is like. And you know, they have all kind of different occupations and things like that. Now this is what I, I didn't understand about this film, even the first one. When these women, you know, they uh, had the sperm and they, and they, you know, had these kids was there another man in these kids' lives? And of course, they all, uh, how did they find out they were from a sperm bank? Did the mothers all tell them that, you know, hey, you know, you're from a sperm bank? And that's the part I, I didn't understand. I wanted to more, I wanted to learn more about the kids' lives more so than Starbucks, because uh, uh, I think they were a bit more interesting. And, and also, why did they want a relationship with a guy? who really wasn't in their lives at all. And why did they want to learn about him? You know, did they have a normal family themselves? The first Starbuck had a lot of magic to it because it was original for me. Now for you, this film will be original for you because you probably didn't see the first one. And it might still have some of the magic from the first one for you if you never saw the first one. But I felt Vince Vaughn was miscast because his brothers and his father, he totally looked different from all of them. He really did. He's taller than all of them. Uh, you know, he has darker hair, has different type of looks. I don't know. But it's Vince Vaughn, it's a Vince Vaughn film. Why did Ken Scott, you know, choose him? Maybe the money. Well, you know how this goes. He meets the kids, things happen. But 
Is this a film for you to watch? Or did I enjoy this film? I enjoyed it like I liked the first one. But because I knew it was going to happen, a little bit of magic was lost on me. But it was still entertaining, but I'm only giving it two and a half palm trees because it's a remake and it lost some of the magic for me and some of the entertainment for me. So, Delivery Man, for me, only two and a half palm trees. I'm Al McGee with your entertainment ticket. Keep watching and watch where you put your sperm. We are your entertainment ticket. That's right. Walkie ticket.com. We are your entertainment ticket.